Hello everybody, my name is Doug and welcome to my channel, Vintage Boutique Cali. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I thought I would bring you another What's in the Box episode where I will go through a box of jewelry, pull out the items one at a time, show them to you, then set them aside. This actually helps me go through my backlog of inventory that I have had in my storage unit. Um, as you can see, let me pull this back. I have all these boxes of jewelry um, that are st that are just chock full of uh, jewelry, not those two jars. But um, if you guys remember, I published a video back on June 4th, I believe it was, of 2021, where I had gone to my storage unit and um, I had a whole bunch of boxes that were left there. And uh, let's just suffice it to say I needed to get out of the storage unit. So I'm pulling all of the jewelry boxes here. They are here on my table. I want to go through all these different boxes with you guys because I'm actually on a little break right now uh, with work. And so I don't start up again until mid-July. I thought I would uh, be able to have time to go through all these boxes with you guys. And then between sometime between now and the beginning of July, I'm going to be doing... Um, a series of sales and it'll be like maybe every evening for a week or something like that where I go on for a few hours. Um, I don't have the exact dates uh, set aside at this point. We're trying to work out our schedules right now to see what works but I just know that I want to be able to go through all these boxes with you guys. I thought it'd be a good opportunity. It's also kind of like a preview too and um, you know yeah so this is what we're going to be doing. Today it's going to be this lacquer box. It's a really beautiful box and inside the box, this is what we have. Looks like a lot of brooches in here, but we will go through this. Um, it doesn't seem like there's very many in there, but um, we can always go on. I have other boxes like this here too. If, it, if this is only a little time, we can go through a second box because this is a small box as well, but it's just kind of fun things to go through. So I have to go through all of this. So how about if we just go ahead and start with, um, let's go ahead and oh, you know what, before I forget, I wanna tell you, one of the things I'm gonna be doing, because I do have a lot, I have one box right here that I'm gonna be auctioning off when I do my sales. So uh, stay tuned for uh, this, but I do have, this is a box of vintage jewelry as well, I just have so much. So I may end up putting more boxes together too because I do just have a whole bunch of, uh, I just have a whole bunch of jewelry that I don't need to have anymore. So this box will go up for auction and I may have actually have more. So please be on this uh, lookout for that. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please do so and hit that notification bell so that you know when that auction or those sales are going to be coming up. Okay. So that is the plan. Thank you very much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig in and see what we have here. So we've got two hand painted Russian floral pins. Russian floral decorative paintings originated in the early 19th century in the village of Zostovo near Moscow. Colorful floral paintings were executed on trays and jewelry Generally on a black background, like Russian lacquer boxes, the paintings reflect the flowers seen in the vast Russian, uh, Russian countryside. Each floral pin is an improvisation of its Russian artist, made in Russia. Very cool. So that's the back side. Yeah. Two of those. This looks like it's a nap uh, napier. Yeah, napier cross pin. This is in good, really good shape. I don't see anywhere on it. Maybe, maybe a tad, a tad wear right there on the ball, but it's not really noticeable unless you look very closely. Hmm, look at this beautiful flower. 
like how they constructed it. You got the filigree backing and then it's all wired on. This is a big, a big brooch. Oh, this is cool. Two little, two little lovebirds or bluebirds. I do not see a mark on here. That's a cute pin though. It's not the enamel and the little feathers. Here we have gold tone crown design with faux pearls and rhinestones all the way around. Castle cliff. And this is actually a brooch pendant combination. Castle cliff. That's cool. Very common. You have the gold tone basket of flowers. Uh, looks like there may be a mark right there. What does it say? Let me look here. Oh. It says Germany. Very pretty. All the stones are there. This is good. Sometimes when the jewelry is just piled in like this, you have missing stones. And you have another brooch. Green rhinestones, gold tone. Is this marked? Right there, what does it say? This says Coro. This is a cool one. I like this. I do not see any marking on it, but you can see how it's constructed there. It does have the rollover clasp right there. So a little bit of wear right there on the very, very top of the leaf where the green enamel has come off. That would need to be just very lightly touched up if you wanted to, but that's a cool piece. It's a very, it's a big piece too. Okay, here we have a gold tone, almost brass tone, filigree. We have blue prong shirt rhinestones. Looks like all of them are there. I don't see any markings at the moment. There may not be, but I can look closer later. It's pretty though. Ah, oh, you got a little toucan. I guess it's a toucan. Gold tone enamel. Can't even see where I'm doing over here. There you go, in there, good job. And then you have a little parrot as well. This is silver tone. These are obviously different, but fun nonetheless. So 
Very cool. Here we have, this looks like it would be a Sarah Coven. Yeah, it is, it's a Sarah Coven toy right there. Sarah Cov. I actually think I might have the necklace and earrings for this. I'll have to go check. And that's another thing I like about, I need to hurry up and go through all of this inventory because when I find matches of things, I put them together so that I have sets. And if I just, you know, if these are just sitting in boxes in my storage unit, then it's not doing me any good. Okay, here we have another one, two, three. This is not, oh, is it Mark? Let me see here. What does that say? I think this says coral. It's a really bad stamp if it is. I'm gonna to have to look under the microscope later uh, to get closer, but it, there is a mark on it. This is one of those thermostat. I actually might have the bracelet that goes with this too. This looks very familiar, this color scheme. I don't know if it's the same design, but it's definitely the same color. Right, here we have a gold tone bracelet with roses on it. Uh, well, this looks like the 1928. The stamping on the back. I think this is a 1928 piece. Here we have another thick gold tone brooch. Is there a marking I cannot see? No, there is no marking that I can see, but it's a, a neat brooch nonetheless. A lot of these things, when I do my sale, I'm probably gonna be doing a fixed price and I'll put like three or four of them out and I'm just gonna say a fixed price uh, choice of, and then you guys can pick whichever ones you want. Oh, you have the old, the 13 star flag. I guess it's 13 stars. Oh, and the, see the backing? I think this is another 1928 piece. Here we have another gold tone brooch with the faux pearls on it. All of them are there, this is in great shape. And what is the mark we have there? Listener, L-A-S-N-E-R, listener. Here is one, silver tone. Monet. <clears throat> Monet. I've never seen that one before. The SK. BSK right there. The gold tone with the silver tone accents, and then three little balls of rhinestones. It's very pretty. This is a big one too. This kind of looks like an Avon piece. see any mark on this one. We got the leaves. Art. 
Is that what it says? No, AK and an Klein. Right there, AK and Klein. So this looks like it was a redo of something. You have the old backing, the old filigree backing, and then you have this coffee cup that was glued to the back of it. This is a big chunky gold tone with a pearl. Is there a marking? Napier right there. That is, yeah, Napier. That's a cool one. The gold tone. You have rhinestones all around the edges of the petal. And then on the inside, it's a combination of the faux pearls and rhinestones all wired in there. The back of this one says original by Robert. Original by Robert. Hmm. This is pretty. This kind of looks, I wonder if this is sterling. No, I don't think it is, but I will test it just to be sure. It's a pretty stone though. Gold tone, rhinestones again. This is a pendant brooch, and I do not see any marks on there at the moment. I'm going through these fast. Okay, this is a, a resin. Gold tone, faux pearls. That's not shell, that's like a resin cameo. Nice little gold tone bow. A lot of rhinestones and this is really very sparkly. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. Is there a mark on here? Oh, right there, what is that one? It says LC, <clears throat> LC, Liz Claiborne, right there. You see the LC? Gold tone with white enamel. It's got the old V clasp on there. I do not see any mark at first glance. That's cool. This one, these are glass, no mark on it. That's good, this is in really good shape. All the pieces are there too. Crystal bees with AB coating. Very cool. Here we have another cameo. And this is again, it's like a plastic or resin. It's not, um, not shell. Perry, it's a company.
That's a dangle brooch. These, these, these beads are plastic beads. It's pretty heavy though, but I think it's because of the back. It's very pretty. Here we have another brooch. This is really pretty. This is sparkling too. I wonder if the light's picking it up. That mark right there. That's the swan right there. That's the Swarovski swan. So this is a Swarovski piece. No wonder it's shining. Very cool. This is a really pretty brooch. Christmas tree and all of the all the faux pearls and rhinestones are there, which is really nice. I can't read that right now. What does it say? So just a second. I don't have my loop, but it says, I can see the A-N-C-E-R. A-N-C-E-R, I don't know what the first letter is. L, Lancer, no. Hmm. I feel like I should know what that is. I'm just having a senior moment at the moment. But anyway, it's a nice tree. It's a nice Christmas tree brooch. A nice little old pin. All the stones were there, which is nice. That's that's the end of the box. Another rose. Oh, and this one's marked. Giovanni. Right there. Giovanni. So that is the pile of brooches that came out of this box. So um, I will need to go through and look at them. Um, but I think that's, I'm going to call it an episode here. This is 24 minutes in. Again, um, I mean, if there is something that you want, please email me uh, at Doug. No, what is it? Vintage Boutique Cali at yahoo.com. I'm being tired all of a sudden. Sorry. But you can email me. Um, but just know that I'm going to get these processed and, and into my inventory so that I'm not um, having them sitting in boxes. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I'll be back with more episodes because we have to go through all these boxes now. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.